The St. Joseph's institutions were founded in 1882 by French missionaries. Changing global times, marked by the onset of war, prompted the French missionaries to hand over the college to the Society of Jesus. These institutions today are governed by the Bangalore Jesuits Educational Society. The St. Joseph's institutions are committed to imparting quality education that is conditioned by the challenges and needs of a changing society. These institutions have evolved over a period of time, creating new identities in the family of St. Joseph's, the most recent being St. Joseph's College of Law, Bengaluru. The spirit of the St. Joseph's institutions resonates in the motto, Fide et Labore. The Bangalore Jesuits Educational Society made a historic decision to establish itself in the world of legal studies. This effort is another milestone fulfilling the dreams and aspirations of its founder, St. Ignatius of Loyola, who was instrumental in establishing the Society of Jesus, popularly known as the Jesuits. The realization of this long-standing dream is highlighted by the rector of the St. Joseph's institutions, Father Joseph Anthony, Vice President of the Bangalore Jesuits Educational Society. One of the reasons why we are starting this law college here under the aegis of Bangalore Jesuit Educational Society is to give some kind of unique and quality law education to our students. Jesuits down the centuries have been fighting for the cause of justice not only here in India but all over the world and law and justice, they are in keeping with the charism, ideals and objectives of the Society of Jesus and their works. St. Joseph's College of Law has moved on to become the first Jesuit law college in South Asia. It was established with the aim of providing legal education grounded in Jesuit principles. This is manifest in its vision to transform the lives of people by its efforts to facilitate a society based on justice, equality, peace and harmony. The college draws its inspiration from its vision and mission statements and organizes a three-year LLB and a five-year integrated BA LLB course. We have a well-equipped library with a vast range of reading material and online legal support. We also have a student-friendly cafeteria and moot court facilities. The college has a panel of distinguished and experienced professors, including visiting professors from a consortium of leading universities across the world and renowned legal practitioners. The director of the college, Father Swiebert de Silva, has very specific plans to translate this dream into a reality. The purpose of education is to create a just and harmonious society. And if this is the purpose of education, and especially that of Jesuit education, then St. Joseph's College of Law, which is newly established, has a very specific purpose to create men and women who can contribute to the society by uh, making sure that a transformed society exists. And therefore, St. Joseph's College of Law which has a very specific purpose and vision and mission to create the students who are young and uh, energetic, who are socially conscious and who are able to change and transform the society. The orientation program introduced the new students to some of the best legal minds in Bangalore with the aim of providing insights into the workings of the legal world. The program commenced with an overview of the legal system by V.B. Cotino, the Vice-Chancellor of the Garden City University. Topics ranged from Indian socio-political realities to ethics in the contemporary world. The program concluded with a lecture from Justice Santosh Hegde, former judge of the Supreme Court of India, former Solicitor General of India and Lokayukta for Karnataka. These exemplary speakers have set the tone for the workings of the academic system. 
Right from the inception of the first semester, St. Joseph's College of Law has taken measures to fulfill its commitment of beyond the curriculum learning. While regular class lectures are mandated by the university curriculum, every care is taken to provide opportunities to continue learning outside the classroom. One such example is the forum we have created, aptly titled Conversations About Ideas and People. This is a forum which supports interactive learning. It mobilizes some of the finest scholarly resources of the city of Bangalore and of the nation. We've had speakers like Ambassador Eric Gonzalez, former Foreign Secretary for the Government of India and former Indian Ambassador to Japan and the European Union. Justice Parody Vishwanath Shetty, Lokayukta, State of Karnataka, also gave us a lecture. We were addressed by Mr. Sudish Pai, Visiting Chair Professor, Ashutosh Mukherjee Chair, Kolkata. Dr. Aditya Sondi, who is a Senior Advocate and Additional Advocate General to the State of Karnataka, also addressed the students. The Film and Documentary Club is an initiative to supplement the reading habits of students on vital issues with relevant films and documentaries helping us to harness a world of resources available in the digital form. The students examine historically relevant films through the legal lens. Films such as La Mistad, No Man's Land and Auschwitz shed light on historically relevant occurrences such as the Bosnian War, the Holocaust and the international slave trade. This is then translated into a blog. We conclude this brief experience and journey in the words of Robert Frost, and I quote, The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I still have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep.